With people stuck at home during the pandemic, access to travel-related artwork and online museum collections allowed escapists and art lovers to enjoy the visually driven adventures available to them through private spaces. Inside the rise of travel-focused art, electronically fed wanderlust created changing dynamics in the understanding of what our space can be and what it means to embody a place. Even as society heals and returns to what we knew as normal, travel is still not available or possible for everyone. Although viewing an exhibition online does ultimately pale in comparison to the power and physical sensations of standing in front of the artwork, it does give curators an opportunity to engage with the public in a more intimate way through the use of visual storytelling that has the potential to create a new appreciation of process and intent. In this exhibition from Rawl Gallery's permanent art collection at Doan University, I have curated a visual story that starts in a small room interior, bursting with contemplative efforts and ends in the vast expanse of the open ocean and blazing sun. It is my hope that this exhibition, Travelogue, Places and Spaces from the Royal Gallery's permanent art collection at Doan University will prove a reprieve from everyday stresses and allow for the brief luxury of escapism.
I hope you've enjoyed viewing this summer's exhibition, Travelogue, Places and Spaces from the Royal Gallery Permanent Art Collection from Doan University. You can also view this exhibition in a catalog format going to issue.com. The link will be in the description box below. There you can review the curator's notes, look at the exhibition list, and get a closer look at the artwork in this summer's exhibition. Thank you again for viewing Travelogue Places and Spaces from the Royal Gallery Permanent Art Collection. Until next time.